In this video, we will discuss the OEM programming software PC requirements. To ensure maximum performance and proper operation of the Ease Reprogramming Assistant and OEM programming software, a PC is needed that meets certain minimum requirements. In a previous video, we discussed the Ease Reprogramming Assistant minimum PC requirements. This video will discuss the OEM programming PC requirements. The OEM PC requirements vary greatly. However, in the video discussing the Ease Reprogramming Assistant, we discussed the PC requirements of a system that would be capable of programming many OEMs. In this video, I will discuss the various items that must be considered when selecting a PC by pointing out where to find each OEM specific information. Okay, a good place to start would be to go to the website listed on top of the screen and then I'm going to show you how to navigate to this page and we're going to go through some specific examples. Okay, from your desktop, open up Internet Explorer and navigate to j2534reprogrammer.com. Once you're there, click on the Specials tab. Once that opens up, you're going to go to the Requirements Requires tab. Okay, this is a great reference location to go through all the various requirement sections for J2534 programming whether they're vehicle requirements, you see the OEM reprogramming software PC requirements, and also a review again of the reprogramming assistant software PC requirements. But again, we're going to focus on the OEM reprogramming software PC requirements. Okay, and again, all the OEMs vary greatly, so again, we're going to look at some specific examples, and I'm going to point out some useful charts and tools that we put together to make your PC selection and decisions easier. Okay, the very first one here, I'm going to click here, who says to view GM, Ford, and Chrysler's reprogramming PC requirements. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so it's going to open up another page. And again, this is a PDF. You can save it, you know, to your PC. And again, this is, a, you know, recently updated. And again, we're going to go through GM, Ford, and Chrysler, and you can see all the various types of items that you might have to consider. So the OEM website is right at the top there if you want to check out GM's information. And here's some minimum requirements for a desktop and GM's recommended requirements. They have um, laptop requirements as well. I believe they look to be the, uh, the same. And again, I'm going to go through some of this fairly quickly. You can, again, go to this uh, link at your leisure, download it, take a look at it, print it off. Um, operating system, you can see GM um, does not have XP in their list. However, we program right now using XP and it works fine however it's not in their list they're uh, slightly above that using uh, Vista and Windows 7 professional some additional requirements that you didn't see in the um, reprogramming assistant software is the second item here um, Java and you're gonna see that for pretty much all the OEMs you may not need it to reprogram but you need it to view their website so again, you're going to need Java. If your PC doesn't have it for some reason, a uh, little screen will pop up and allow you to download it. Uh, there's another one there, right? Uh, you know, MS Office Viewer. And again, there's where you can get your subscription information. And of course, you need a reprogramming interface. Okay, next section is Ford. And again, you can see the minimum PC requirements are slightly different. The processor speeds and RAM requirements and hard drive slightly different and so on. But again, if you're going to do GM and Ford, you're going to want to obviously have to get the higher PC specifications in order to do both. There's Ford's operating system requirements. Um, again, some additional requirements for uh, Ford. Not too much to do a Ford. Chrysler, let's take a look at that real quick here. Again, you can see the PC requirements are uh, slightly different. And they have a few more additional requirements down here. Again, you'll see Java listed um, under Chrysler. Um, they have another um, Adobe component viewer. And also, you're going to need Macromedia Flash 9.0 or greater to uh, do Chrysler Reflash. Okay, so again, download that PDF. Take a look at it when you're making your uh, PC decision. Okay, another thing to consider, of course, is the operating systems. That was a, a quick overview of GM, Ford, and Chrysler, but we put together another chart. Let's take a look at that. That goes through all the various operating systems for each OEM. So again, this is a PDF. You can download it and take a look at it. 
and you'll see all the various um, vehicle manufacturers on the left hand side and all the different operating systems across the top and whether or not that operating system is supported by that manufacturer so again this is another you know pretty handy chart that we uh, like to try to keep updated and again you'll see right yes obviously means it works on that operating system and a it either will not work or the OEM says they did not test it and a question mark we're still trying to you know find out okay so again that's a another very useful chart to take a look at when you're selecting your PC depending upon which OEMs you're going to be programming okay let's take a look at another the third link here okay so this link is going to take you to our support website and on the support website another great location to find OEM related information to uh, reprogramming is the NASTEF website and we put together this page right here with all the links to take you to the various manufacturers so again if you wanted to see um, Ford you just click on Ford and it'll take you right to the NASTEF page for a lot of information related to reprogramming again you can see right what makes and models and years can be reprogrammed uh, what kind of tools do you need you'll find the uh, OEM website to go to on this location and again you'll see some uh, a summary of the PC requirements here okay so again just click on you know one of those links whatever OEM you're interested in and take a look at it that way another thing you can do um, once your software is installed your ease reprogramming assistance software is installed is to go ahead and launch that you're gonna see this icon on your desktop so let's do that real quick here and again let's just uh, you can select one of the OEMs just by you know moving the mouse over them here so let's again we'll take a look at Ford just click on the launcher the service programming assistant for that manufacturer is going to open up okay we're not connected to a device right now but it doesn't matter once you're uh, you know set up and installed just click on the help button here and then go to the contents page and on the contents page here again you're gonna see a list of all the vehicle manufacturers so let's take a look at Ford again just click on Ford a little page opens up let's scroll down a little and take a look okay and again this is a great resource to uh, you know find a summary of a lot of related information to reprogramming um, here's again the OEM website calibration lookup information if there's any current issues that we know of they'll be posted here uh, subscription details how to get tech support um, here's the PC specifications that we're talking about in this video and so on and again down here at the very bottom there'll be your reprogramming video so again some of them may take a minute or so to load they're uh, you know sometimes pretty big but again all those videos of how to reprogram will show up right here in the very bottom okay so again this is a uh, a great spot to come to for all the different manufacturers because if you had to go to each of the manufacturers websites and find the information it can be pretty time consuming and uh, a little frustrating so we put this together to make your um, searching a lot easier I'm going to pick a couple websites now just to show you, um, you know, where this information came from on the websites. Um, you know, should you have to go there and you know, or want to look for yourself. So let's go to, to Ford and look at that. So we're going to go to the Ford website. Okay, we're going to navigate over here to reprogramming and initialization. Let's take a look at that. And on Ford, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to scroll down, and right here you can see minimum PC requirements okay let's take a look at Chrysler so again here's the information related to Chrysler here's their website we're gonna to go to in a second and again you can scroll through here you can see here's their PC specifications the browser requirements operating system requirements and additional requirements and they actually looks like they have some specific uh, printing requirements as well so again you might want to take a look at all these various OEMs you're going to be programming and see what the requirements are but let's go to Chrysler's website here I'll show you how this one's slightly different okay so we're on the uh, Tech Authority website now and again we're looking across the top here we see some uh, various options uh, again to find the information we're looking for we're going to go down to the very bottom here you see this related documents and links we're going to go there okay 
and right here you'll see a link minimum PC requirements and again that's where you would find it for Chrysler okay so let's close out of that okay but again if you just come to this website right here on our OBD2 support page um, you will find all the various manufacturers and again some real handy links you can go to the OEM website if you'd like to or again we did all that work for you and put a section into each OEM so you can have a quick handy reference to it okay that was a quick review of uh, some of the uh, OEM's websites and at this point you should have reviewed the PC requirements for both the Ease Reprogramming Assistant software and the OEM PC requirements. That's this video you're watching right now. And you're now ready to select the PC system that you're going to be used for programming vehicle controllers. After you select your PC, you can install the Ease Reprogramming Assistant software and your desired OEM programming software. Both of these topics are covered in other videos. And again, once you get that Reprogramming Assistant software installed, um, that's again a great handy reference um, as you're programming to find all the OEM websites and all their requirements. Not just for PC requirements, but for all the reprogramming help and requirements.